as the question says a block of mass 5 kg is suspended from the end of a vertical spring which is stretched by 10 cm under the load of the block the block is given a sharp impulse from below so that it acquires an upward speed of 2 m per second how high will it rise now let us first draw the diagram for this question in which we are having a vertical spring to which a block has been attached of mass m now we have assumed that initially it has an extension of x in order to balance this block and this x is actually 0.1 meters or 10 cm as given in the question now what happens is that an impulse is given due to which this block actually gets some change in its momentum that is it gets some velocity so it will move up and will reach a height h and then will perform shm and so on whatever the motion it will be having afterwards what we need to find out is that what will be that h that is the maximum height that it will be rising actually right now let us first find the spring constant for this by the initial conditions that have been given in the problem we have mg of the block equal to the force that is the spring force so easily we can calculate k to be mg over x giving us 500 newton per meter now we need to find the height so we can easily uh, apply the energy conservation for this uh, spring block system because we have assumed all of these springs to be ideal that means there is no loss in these uh, springs so let us employ the energy conservation just after the impulse has been provided and at the moment this block m reaches the height h now please notice that this energy conservation is not before the impulse has been provided it is just after the impulse has been given to the block now if we write it down then just after the blow that is just after the blow we have the energy equals to half mv square where v is the velocity of the mass in the upward direction plus half kx square where x is the initial extension to balance the force weight of this block m now let us also frame an expression for the energy at the height h or the point b let us take at point b so there we have the energy equals to half h minus x whole square into k because k x square where it uh, x is actually the expansion or the contraction here whatever it will be but it will be the mod of h minus x but it's the square there is no matter whether i put the mod or not and the when you will go up obviously the energy will be minus mgh right now equating both of these we can say that h equals to 0.2 meters 